All righty, folks. Welcome back to another show. We are here bright and early around 6 a.m. The sun is going to come up in about 20 to 30 minutes. And we're going to try to do some surf perch today. So catch some red tails. And uh, exact same setup, guys. Exact same setup. There's no secret to catching these surf perch. I have a gulp alive shrimp. Um, I got two of them on high low rig and a two ounce rig. And um, the my leader line here is a 12 pound mono line. I have 20 pound braid and uh, one of my favorite reels, Shimano um, Stratic 5000, 20 pound braid, 10 foot salmon rod. So that's the gear you need to catch these surf perch. Really simple, not very difficult at all, okay? Um, I got a high low rig, they're about 10 to 12 inches apart. And below that, probably about 18 inches to my uh, weight. So that's it. Um, we are fishing an incoming high tide. And like I said in all my surf fishing videos, you want the incoming high tide because that brings them closer to you, closer to shore, okay? So the surf looks really good. It's not very rough. And uh, yeah, high tide is about one hour. So we're just gonna fish for about an hour and a half, two hours, and um, hopefully we get some. Okay, well guys, enjoy the show. Oh, there we go, fish on guys, fish on. Woo, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, guys. Look at that struggle, look at that pole. Oh, did he come off? Oh, oh no, it's still on there. Holy moly. That was a good hit, guys. That's a nice hit. Oh, yes. Just going to back up and let the wave bring him in. He feels really good. He feels really good. Come on, baby. Don't come off. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a good one, I think, guys. Might be another monster. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Come on. Oh, he's a good one. Nice one. Yeah. There we go, guys. First fish. There we go. Woo! Look at that. Oh, another nice one. Check that out, guys. Right there. First fish of the day. Woo! Nice. Awesome hook set. Look at that. Right at the top of the mouth. Perfect. That's what we want. Yeah, baby. Me and Brian doubled up. Heck yeah. Woo. Nice. This is a nice one. This is about 12 or 13 right here. Nice one, Brian. Let's come over here. Check that out, guys. Me and Brian double, double up right here. Ooh, look at yours, man. Yeah. I don't even want to show mine. Look at that. <laughs> That's a pig. Yep. Look at that hook set, man. Look at that hook set right at the top of the beak. Perfect. Oh, baby. Man, that's a slab right there. Yep. That's a tournament fish. Right there, guys. That's huge. Man, that's wow. awesome. So let me whack him. I'm going to keep him today, man. These are so delicious. That's nice. Put him... Uh, hold on. Oh, fish on! Fish on! There we go! Fish on! Woo! Actually, he's a little guy, though. He feels smaller. He feels smaller. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Man, this is so fun. This is so fun. I can't get enough of it. He doesn't feel very big. Not a very big one. But, was he a silver? Is that a silver? Oh, he's a little guy. There we go. Oh, just a little dude. Hey, buddy. That is a male. That is a male. There we go. There we go, guys. Nice looking male. Uh, you know what? We're going to keep this guy right here. We're going to keep him. 
super, super delicious. But most people say, you know, the meat is mushy. I don't know. Um, don't matter to me. I really like them. Of course, they taste better than stock trout. So right there, that is a male. You see that dip in the anal fin? The female, they have a smooth anal fin, but you got a little dip there and you feel it. That's a little bump there, so that's a male. So we're gonna keep this guy. He's going down the frying pan. They also make good crab bait. Um, when I uh, pan fry these, I just cut off the head and uh, whatever is left, like the stomach, they make good crab bait. Okay, so that's uh, number two for me. Sun is not up yet. It's coming up though. Let's keep going. So I got that guy. Let me show you something. Because people always ask me, what are you using, man? Um, I'm using these bait right here, as I showed you earlier in the video. These shrimp. Go up alive shrimp. They work really well. Um, so I have a number two bait holder hook, Gamagatsu. I'm a big fan of Gamagatsu. They're really, really sharp. They catch a lot of fish and they're really strong, durable. And that's how I put on the bait right here. It's just like that. So you have that point exposed. Okay, nothing to it, really simple. Let's try it again. The uh, surf today, guys, the surf is perfect three to five feet, about nine seconds apart. That is perfect. I love that kind of condition. When these waves are coming in, it's kicking up like sand crabs and other debris like food, the perch feed on. And most importantly, it is uh, relatively safe. You don't have to be so aware of like sneaker waves. So three to five feet, that's pretty much the ideal condition that I like. Beautiful day here on the Oregon coast. We have a break in the weather. This winter has been really, really strange. Very, a lot of rain. A lot of snow up in the mountains, a lot of wind, and the surf has been just so insanely high. And today and uh, a couple days ago we had a break, so oh, we got a hit. And just took advantage of it. I've been waiting for a day like this for a long time. Hopefully it improves. I can come out here more often. Because I love it out here, man. It's so great. It's, it's very therapeutic. It's pretty awesome. You have so much room on the beach. You don't need a boat. Come out here with your favorite rod. Catch these surf perch. Love it. Okay, I see the sunlight hitting the waves out there. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Another one, guys. Telling you, fish on an incoming high tide. Oh, did he come off? Dang it. I think he came off. Oh, wait, did he? No, he's still on there. I, yeah, he's still on there. I feel the weight. No, he's gone. Never mind. Never. Wait, is he? Okay, I, I feel the head shake. He's on there. He's a little guy. Not very big. I'll just walk back. But, oh yeah, he's still on there. Oh yeah. But yeah, you want the incoming high tide, guys. You got to fish an incoming high tide. There we go. There we go. Same size as last one. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So that's number three for me. Look at that awesome hook set. Look at that. Very nice. So that's a female. You see the, how the anal fin is kind of straight compared to the male which had to dip right there. So yeah, well, just like the last one, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it. There we go. We got another one, guys. Holy moly. They are coming in with the tide. I don't have my watch on. I think we've been fishing for about, I'm guessing about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. So I have three, I lost one earlier this morning so there's another one guys so I will put a link down below if you guys want to get these shrimp they work really well as you can see so what I do is with these fish I just bleed them and when you get to the car what you want to do is maybe I put it in like a uh, like an ice slurry so that way you can preserve the meat keep it fresh okay so there's number three for me Oh, oh, there's a hit. There's an, oh, 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 come on. Take it, buddy. That's a hit, guys. Oh, oh, missed it. I missed it, dang. Dang it, 
Oh, 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 there's a hit. There's a hit. Oh, no, I missed it again. They are out there. They are coming in with that tide. Come on, buddy, one more time. Let's go, let's go. Oh, man. Missed that one. Let's try it again. One more time. When I get that bite, what I do is I just catch it back to that spot in that general area. Of course, it could be the uh, little ones, the uh, silver, um, which have a much smaller mouth, and I think these bait are too big for them. So this, they just like nip at the tail, which kind of give you a false impression that you had a big fish on. Oh, oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one, guys. Woo, just like that. Wait, did it come off? Oh, I think it came off. Dang, man. Oh, no, it's still on there. I feel the head shake still. Don't know how big he is. The day is made possible by an incoming high tide. Can't say that enough, guys. Oh, it's a little guy. Holy moly. Let it do. Holy smokes. Tiny. Okay, buddy. We let you go. Let you go. Careful now. There you go. Boom. So that was what, number four for me? Although we wanted to get a bigger one. But they're here. They are definitely here. And when I cast, I just kind of do, um, if you've been watching my videos, I just do like a fan cast. You know, like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and then 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So that's a fan cast. You pretty much cover everything in front of you. Sometimes I even, oh, there's a hit. Oh, oh, is that the fish? Oh, that was a hit, guys. Dang, I missed it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Woo! Oh, I, no, I lost it. Dang it. Is he on? Nope, he's off. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. But I was saying, sometimes I even cast to my left, right, right on the beach. And sometimes I would get them, too. Man, that was a hit, guys. Shoot. I missed it. Too busy talking. So right in front of me, there's no trough. Sorry, there's no uh, there's no sandbar. So because there's no sandbar, they just come right in. Because sometimes the sandbar kind of blocks them. It keeps them out there. It keeps them way out there. Oh, oh no. I thought I had one. I thought that was a bite. So just like, just like before, reel and pause. That's a technique. Oh, there's a hit, guys. There we go. Woo! Oh, there's a good one right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, he took it really close to shore. Super close. This feels really nice. Oh, 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 my goodness. Feels really nice. Good size right here. Good size. Oh, that's a nice one. Not bad, not bad right there, folks. Look. Oh, Brian's on! Brian is on, yeah! Brian's on! We got another double, there we go. Woo! There we go, guys. Oh, look at this monster. Look at this monster of a perch. Oh, Brian's got one too. We doubled up again. Yeah. Woo. Let's go, Brian. Oh, this is a nice one. Looks like she's empty, so I'm gonna keep her. She is empty. So that's another nice monster. Another nice perch right here, guys. Oh, man. There we go. Look at that. On the shrimp. Yeah, Brian, good job. Oh, man, my phone. There we go, guys, another one. Having fun, hot bite. Come here, Brian, let me see that fish, man. We doubled up right there. Woo! Oregon Coast surf fishing, guys. Love it. Sun is just coming up. The tide is high, and these guys are biting. Hot diggity dog. Yeah. I know, look at this. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, I've been missing good bites too. Kind of like, yeah. Oh man, doing good, guys. Doing good. Let's do it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep this fun going. Why stop, huh? If the action is hot, why stop? Let's keep it going. Okay, there we go. So that was a nice, nice red tail I just got. Really nice one, man. Holy moly. Oh, there's another one back to back, buddy. Woo! Yeah, back to back. Oh, man. The sun is hitting the waves out there. Looks really beautiful. Holy smokes, guys. Holy smokes. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. Pan frying size right here. Perfect pan fry. Oh, nope, that, that's a female. I know I've been keeping females, but they were nice and big. They have good fillets on them. Uh, this one is going back. Okay, girl. Hold on. Come on. There we go. So another nice one. Decent one. Female, we'll let her go. All right, there you go. Boom. She's off. Boy, when the tide comes in, man, they are voracious. So that was a number six or something? Can't remember now. Oh, well. Let's go. Give me another big one. Oh, there's a hit. Let him hit, though. Let him hit. Give me a sculpin. Oh, that was a hit. Yeah! Woo! That was awesome! See that rod shaking like that? Oh! Love it! Man, oh man! Come to Pappy! Come to Pappy! Another good one, guys. Another good one. There we go. There we go. Let's see what you are. Let's see what... Oh, you're a male! Yeah, I want to keep you! There we go, guys! There's a male! That's a good size for the frying pan. Just barely hooked. Look at that. Barely hooked. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Another one. Here's another fish. Now, look at that beautiful, beautiful pink fin. And that's what they're sometimes called pink fin. Red tail. Oh, man. Just an awesome looking fish. Beautiful. Barely hooked, too. Look at this. Barely hooked. Okay guys, so that's about it. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock and I got a jet home. I got uh, stuff to do at home. So I got a bucket full of fish. Really great day. And my friend Brian is still over there. Uh, still going at it. Um, we're going to get on out of here. Had a great time. And uh, I'll put Brian's uh, channel in the link description below. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it. And uh, have fun fishing. And see you, I will see you next time. Tight lines.